On this half of my lips, we have the lip plumper and then here is just that lip liner. I feel like I'm actually seeing a difference. This is the new Physicians Formula Diamond Wear Collection infused with real diamonds, but is it a gimmick? Because we did have a few disasters within this line. Oh no. Not everything is worth it. Literally a hidden gem at the drugstore right now from this collection. I purchased this full line myself to vigorously test so you don't end up wasting your hard earned dollars on some disappointing makeup. Let's start with the Mineral Wear Diamond Perfector BB Cream. It says it's a 10 in one skin perfector. I wish it listed the 10 things that it's claiming to do. I just think of BB creams as skin tints nowadays. It's just a light coverage type of product. I was a little terrified to try this because if you've tried Physicians Formula's base products in the past and you have fair skin or really any other skin than medium skin, you know their shade ranges can be just so whack. Girl, look how orange you look, girl. This is the shade Fair to Light. It actually does list the things it claims to do. It says it's a moisturizer, primer, concealer, foundation, brightener, illuminizer, skin treatment, line softener, even skin tone, and pore diffuser. That's kind of a lot of things. Mm, I don't know, we'll see. This packaging is actually really cool. This like little diamond top and it has a squeezy tube applicator with just a little needle nose applicator. So here is the shade Fair to Light. Blend that in a little bit. Honestly, it looks like it has a really nice, more neutral undertone. I honestly think I'm gonna try this with my hand. I find that BB cream, skin tints, sometimes products that are just more light coverage in general, when you apply them with your hands and they really work into the skin, it gives you that ultra skin-like finish and helps you get a little bit more coverage out of it. Sometimes a sponge can just absorb it a little bit too much. I am actually going to go in with a sponge just to help me blend. Ooh, this is a little weird. Patchy almost, do you see that? Okay, it was a little patchy when I started to blend it. I am curious if that's going to be a problem if you start to build that up. I used quite a lot of product just on that one side of my face. You might run through this pretty quickly. Oh, by the way, this doesn't really have any fragrance. It kind of just smells like makeup. Definitely doesn't have like the tropical scent like their butter bronzer stuff does. I'm honestly tired of that line and the fragrance. Let me know if you're still into that. I'm just glad they have a new line now and they're moving on from so many butter bronzer products. This is peeling a ton. Ooh. It's a water-based formula. It has water and silicone in it and my moisturizer was water-based so I don't know why it would be doing that. Do you see this around my nose here? It's like totally peeled up on my chin. Let's go ahead and just give it another chance. See if just like no moisturizer underneath will help because it does say that it is moisturizer on its own. What is happening? Is it pilling on itself? Okay, I think finger application is gonna be key here and it does dry really quickly. Like even as it's just sitting on my hand, it's like just getting a really weird texture to it. You see that, like how to fix it? Yeah, the longer it sits on your hand, it'll start to dry and become like a really unusable texture. I managed to get it to look decent on my cheek. Let's try just a little bit at a time. I wonder if that's the water drying in the formula and then it becoming like more sticky because it is definitely a lot more liquidy when you pour it onto your hand. I feel like that worked fine. It just has to be super quick. And by the way, this whole collection has 100% real like diamond powder in it. So this definitely has a little bit of a sheen to it when you're applying it. The um, shimmer isn't super visible, but oh my gosh, you guys, this like application is, nothing should be this finicky to apply. This is a bizarre formula, but as it's applied, it does look really nice and healthy on the skin. It's definitely like coverage. Like I still need a lot of coverage to feel like my skin tone is evened out. So odd, like the formula is just so finicky. It's already getting like a lot of negative critique for me and I don't see how it can improve on that. I mean, I tried it with the brush. I tried it with a sponge with nothing underneath and it just dries so incredibly quickly and gets like bunched up on itself that you cannot layer it. It had such potential. We'll still see how it wears with this on my face, but yeah, maybe, I don't know. It's weird. I am ready to move on though. I'm gonna throw on my House Labs concealer, probably quite a bit of this because I'm just feeling like I need more coverage on my face than what we have going now. I didn't use any concealer on my forehead, so that will sort of be the basis for the wear test of the just 
BB cream on its own. Okay, let's move on. Hopefully some better products ahead. We have the Mineral Wear Diamond Filler Cheek and Lip Color. This is a liquid blush for extra sensitive and breakout prone skin. My beef with Physician's Formula, especially like the butter line, is they're so marketed for like sensitive skin, yet a lot of their products are heavily scented, even more than like other products at the drugstore. So that's a little confusing that they went that route, but this collection, like I mentioned with this, seems to be unscented, which I like. So this is the color Radiant Pink. This has really cool packaging as well, a little diamond top. And this is a doe foot applicator liquid blush. This shade looks quite nice. I would say it's a mid-tone like neutral type of berry, not super cool. Since I'm not sure how pigmented it's gonna be, let's start with one dot, especially since I'm so fair. These liquid blushes can go wrong really easily. Ooh, look at that shade. If you like that sort of like sunburn look, this is a really pretty shade for that. I think they only have two shades of this, which I would love to see more if we'd like the formula. Based on my application, it's really, really pretty. There might be a little bit of shimmer in there because it has that diamond powder in there. It's super subtle though. And it has a nice satiny skin finish. Like, look at that. It looks very glowy. Okay, I think this blush might have saved the day. Really pretty. You literally only need one dot if you're as fair as me. Seems very buildable though, and it's nice and pigmented. It's not overly pigmented though, so I think... It's still very user-friendly and the shade Tickled Pink, Radiant Pink is really gorgeous. I'm super excited about this, the Diamond Blur Skincare Powder. I don't feel like I find a lot of good drugstore powders. This packaging is super cool, it looks like a diamond. So this comes with like a tiny little under eye puff, which I've been using, it's a little bit dirty. You get this plastic cover, pop it open, and then you have the loose powder. This basically looks like a totally translucent white powder, which as someone with fair skin, really excited about because we know it's not going to cast a dark on our skin. Go ahead and just make sure the under eyes are all smoothed out before we go in and set. And then taking my teeny tiny little puff, see if we can get a good amount of product loaded on here. And then press this into the skin. Ooh, this is really beautiful like smoothing effect. It definitely did not deepen my under eyes, which is a huge win for a drugstore powders. I've tried Physicians Formulas powders in the past and they can be sometimes like really heavy looking, especially the mineral ones, but this feels really lightweight and is looking very lightweight as well. Do I almost dare say that this is actually like a brightening powder on fair skin? If you can see like this area where I sort of packed it on more, it definitely has this brightening effect to it, which could be which could be really exciting. I'm just gonna blend that away a little bit, but the under eyes look smooth. This is gorgeous. It's super blurring. I'm going to set the rest of my face with this as well. And then with a fluffier brush, I'll take a light layer over the rest of the face, including the blush. Even with that less than nice BB cream on, this looks beautiful. And I feel like it really helped smooth all the texture and Ooh, really liking it. I hope it wears well. They do have a diamond bronzer in this collection. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find it, so I will try to find it for a future video. They do have this called Diamond Dust. This is sort of like their highlighter. This is a mini version, not the full size. I thought it was nice that they had this. And it's just called the Mini Mineral Wear, Wear Diamond Dust. And it definitely has more of a glittery finish to it. It actually feels really creamy when you go and swatch it. So just right off the bat, if you don't like highlighters that have any sort of like chunkier shimmer in it, it's not super chunky, but it's definitely more of like a glittery look than a shimmery look. You can already just pass on this. It actually reminded me of the Fenty Diamond Balm, which I have not tried, but it seems to have that similar like shimmery glittery look. I think I'm gonna use a slightly more dense brush because I don't want the glitter to go everywhere with something like a fan brush. So this is a Real Techniques, I don't know the name of it. I will try to link it though. Yeah, like it's actually quite pretty if you don't mind a little bit more shimmer in your highlight. It has really pretty like reflex in it. They're definitely cool tone. It's like a pink, a little bit of a silver. It's definitely like a very silver based type of white icy highlight. Now this product, does have that classic like tropical scent in it. I don't really know why. It's weird that that's in all their powders now, besides that loose one we just tried. This is pretty, definitely not my favorite thing because I prefer something a little bit more smooth, but I could see that it could be a nice little sparkly highlight. Since I don't have bronzer on, I wanna put a little bit on. This is from Pure, it's their bronzing act, which I think might be discontinued. I really hope not, but I do have a full video about 
Fair Skin Bronzer recommendations if you're not able to find this one. I will link it. If not, I will link the video. Now to finish up the eyes, I have the Diamond Mascara. This was a little duo called the Flawless Diamond Duo that also comes with the Diamond Plumper we will be trying. This is the Diamond Mascara. This is just the black shade. The wand is a plasticky, pretty pointy. Looks like it's going to be a lengthening formula based off of the brush. You're trying to figure out what like mascara effect a wand will give you. If it's more of like a plastic brush with shorter bristles, definitely a little more voluminizing, but those more sparse bristles give you more length. If it's a super like dense, like fluffier brush, you're gonna get more of a voluminous look. So let's do no lash curling, just trying this formula. I don't think I've tried a physician's formula mascara I like. I remember the like leaf ones, but they smudged a lot. This is actually a really pretty effect. Like I mentioned, it is pretty thickening, but also gives you that nice separated length. The formula is a little bit more wet, which I personally like. So with one coat, that's pretty good. This is really buildable. I might've gone a little bit overboard with it, but it has this nice curved side of the brush that was great for the lower lashes. When I built it up, like it just gave me more drama instead of getting clumpy. So kind of like a surprise to me, hopefully it will wear well, but I really like the effect. Next, I got one of the liquid lipsticks. I did order this from Amazon. There's just something weird about this. It's the Diamond Last Mineral Wear Lip Cream. It looks like this really pretty shade, but instead of having like a sticker, it was kind of like when I opened it, like a bunch of this dried glue, like it literally still is, a bunch of dried glue came off of it. Like it was like super glued shut or glued shut in like a weird way. So here's what it looks like. Not comfortable putting this on. I'm probably gonna return this because it's just like a weird way to receive makeup. I don't know if it was like a return or something, especially with lip products. I'm not gonna risk it. So another one I'll have to try in the future. I apologize about this, but we do have another product to test for the lips, thankfully. I'm gonna go ahead and do some lip liner. This is the Bare Minerals Minerals Lip Liner. This one's the shade Cherished Rose. These are ultra creamy, and this is a gorgeous like muted rose shade. Like, isn't that just such a super pretty like darker lip liner? Well, at least on me. I really like how they are so creamy that they blend out well too, because I like to blur my lip line. I don't know why I was trying to talk while I do this. There I go again. If you love more neutral cool tones, this is a really pretty rosy lip liner pick if you wanted to try it out. I also feel like it's longer than a regular lip pencil is, which is nice. You get more product because it's just a wooden sharpening pencil. Next, we have the other product in the Flawless Diamond Duo, which is the Diamond Plumper. This is the shade Light Pink Princess Cut. I have also seen in stores they have like a slightly more true pink version. This one does have some shimmer in it. So this is a plumper. I'm gonna do half and half and see if we can like see a difference. So let's do it over here. Really like the applicator. It's like a pointed tip, so it's quite precise. And then always make sure you wipe off your lipstick from the applicator if you don't wanna muddy the color. While that's doing its thing, I feel like we could add a little bit more blush and let's see if it layers over powder. Taking a Luxie small contouring brush. Now we have too much blush on. I don't know, I'd rather have too much blush than too less blush. Are you on the same boat? Let me know. But that was really pretty. It layered beautifully. This is a gorgeous blush. I am already feeling this lip plumper on this side, but it's looking like a little bit more red on that side. Can you see? Why is this kind of working? This was a really interesting experiment because I am seeing that there's like less lines over here. Like it is plumping. It definitely has a plumping tingly sensation. I wouldn't say it burns. It's just definitely something going on. We'll see if it subsides. Let's go on this half now. I really like that it brought blood to my lips and actually like made my lips more pigmented because I have fair skin, my lips are just so light to begin with. So this could be a really nice product to just use on its own to add natural color. To start a wear test, it is 244 right now. So I'm gonna wear this, put it through a vigorous sweat test because a lot of these products seem nice at first, especially that blush. I am really liking the lip product as well. I wanna see if they're going to wear well and see if this powder holds up to oil because a lot of things can look great at first, right? But if it doesn't wear well, it's not going to be worth the money. Even if it's drugstore, not worth it. I wanna save you money so you don't waste it on bad products that don't wear. So I will see you in the sweat test. Okay, it's the end of my workout. I literally just broke this tripod, so I'm hanging on to dear life. 
but I really don't notice like anything changing too much. Obviously we put a lot of concealer over the BB cream. So it's kind of just my forehead that's the BB cream. Like it looks fine. I think the powder is doing a nice job at controlling oil. It's only a couple hours after, but still the blush didn't fade at all. It actually looks a lot stronger in daylight. So pretty good marks on longevity so far, but we still have the rest of the day to test. So I'll see you then. Okay, it's 10.02 for my final check-in. Everything's looking pretty good. I don't feel like the blush faded off or anything crazy. So overall the blush is definitely a win super pretty i just reapplied the lip plumber to see if it would bring color to my lips on its own and it definitely is still has that tingly feeling i really like the lip gloss as well a little bit of shimmer interested in trying the other shades the bb cream it's such a shame that it's like so finicky to apply because like honestly it looks good on my forehead and of course we have that concealer on as well but like still looking really good in the shade was a surprise match for me was not expecting that i just really i don't know i'll have to play around with the formula a little bit more and see if i can get it to work somehow but it's kind of disappointed in that one but the powder oh my gosh this powder is so pretty like it did control oil it looks so smooth this is like it looks like a gem but it's literally a hidden gem at the drugstore right now from this collection especially if you have fair skin and you have you want a truly translucent powder that's smoothing and mattifying but it doesn't feel too drying like so good definitely some good buys here i would say the powder the blush here and the lip plumper are my favorites if you're looking at the collection and want to try something i would start here oh also another surprise this diamond mascara did not really smudge at all. Maybe a little smudge right there. Or no, that might be a freckle. I don't think it's really smudging at all. I had like maybe one or two tiny flakes from this the whole day, which I was also not expecting. I'm really picky with mascaras. Love the effect of this one. Surprised that it wore well. Also a good grab from the collection. If you want a nice like, like look at my lashes, like lengthening, thickening mascara. Doesn't get too goopy if you want to like layer it up really interesting little find here that was it for my physician's formula diamond wear collection if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and i will put another one of my review videos on the screen here so we can keep hanging out i will see you over there bye